Hi everyone and welcome to tonight's session from the Singapore Art Museum. So this is a new initiative being released by the Singapore Art Museum. So the Singapore Art Museum is a contemporary art museum over here in Singapore and it focuses on art thinking and art making over here in Singapore, in Asia, and entire Southeast Asia. So this wellness, this tonight session, what we're going to have is that we're incorporating an art piece together with the wellness portion. And hopefully we'll be able to use this as ways to cope with the current situation that all of us are in right now. It will also help us to navigate the situation in and around us. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the session. I just want to say something as well. Um, I'll also introduce myself. My name is Cheryl, and I am the founder of The Breeze Movement, a social organization that uses yoga-based yoga tools to increase emotional and mental resilience. So I just want to say that this is the first time I'm on Facebook Live, so it's just a bit nerve-wracking, I have to say. Um, but as with all new experiences, there's always anxiety that comes through in moments of uncertainty. But this is where we're going to be at. We're going to sit in meditation and we're just going to see what comes up for all of us. So before we start the practice today, uh, and before we introduce the artwork as well, I, in I invite all of you guys to just find a comfortable seat wherever you're at. It can be on the floor, it can be on a chair. And we're just going to do a few rounds of breathing together just to set up the space. So finding that comfortable seat, resting your hands on your lap. You're invited to close your eyes or keep your eyes open. And then very gently, Start to bring awareness to your inhalation and your exhalation breath. So taking a few rounds of deep inhale and long exhales. And then very gently inviting yourself into this space. So just as how you invite a guest into your home, very welcomingly invite yourself into this physical space and into this virtual space that all of us are connected together right now. And we're all going to just do a breath together. So together as a community, let's take a very deep inhalation breath and fill our bodies up with the inhale. And hold it at the very top. And together, let's exhale it all out. Just one more time. Inhale, inflate our bodies with breath. And together, Let's exhale it all up. Let's we'll return back to normal breathing. And you're invited to just very gently open your eyes. And we're going to take some time right now to look at a piece of artwork. So. This artwork is titled, We Are Family, and it's a mixed media installation by Vincente Delgado. Vincente Otero, as he is known to his friends and family, was originally from Spain and has been a resident of Singapore for more than a decade. He was inspired by the ideas of multiculturalism, society, and the individual when he created this piece. 
We Are Family celebrates the diversities of Singapore's cultures by employing vivid colors, textures, and shapes in an intertwining soft sculpture installation. This work is made up of flexible soft sculpture pieces or building blocks that can be easily stacked in various ways. In fact, visitors are invited to play with the work by just using the pieces to create new shapes and forms. The interactivity encourages teamwork, solidarity, and respect for others through play. We Are Family suggests that the soft sculpture pieces are very much like members of a family or even a societal unit that when linked together can forge a stronger structure through unity. So today's, for today's meditation session, we are going to be focusing a lot about connection, about the relationship that we have with ourselves and the relationship we have with the wider community and the whole global community. We'll give you tools to also not only be here, not, to not only focus on that during the practice here, but how can we take this practice off our seats and into the world so what we're going to do right now is we're going to just, again, go back into a meditation um, and then we will kind of break it up a little to break down a little bit of what we're doing and then come back for a second round of meditation. So I invite you guys to find a seat. So I'll go into a deeper, deeper explanation now. If you're sitting on a chair, you're welcome to scoot forward slightly so that your feet can be planted firmly on the ground. If you're sitting on the ground, you can sit on cushions if you want to or just on the ground. But just make sure that your knees are not impacted in any way. And you're sitting in a way that you feel supported. So we're going to make sure that the fronts of our shoulders, my hair is covering, Gonna make sure that the fronts of your shoulders are pushed back slightly so then your chest starts to open up. And you're just gonna let your hands rest on your lap. And then you're welcome to close your eyes again. If closing your eyes is not part of your practice today, you're welcome to keep them open. Just have a really soft gaze. So you're not gonna look at anything in particular. Just let the gaze be really soft so the eyelids are soft. And once again, we're gonna gently invite ourselves to bring awareness to the inhalation breath and the exhalation breath. As you start to inhale, see if you can start to follow through the entire length of the inhale. And then notice where does that inhalation land up at and which part of your body? Does it land up in your throat, in your rib cage, in your belly, in your hips? You can line up in your hands and your feet. And then as you begin your exhale, see if you can start to soften your shoulders down your back. Inhale, you're noticing where the inhale lands in which part of your body. And in the exhale, we let the shoulders drop down our back.
I'm going to bring some awareness to our facial muscles. And gently bring awareness to the space in between your eyebrows. On the non de exhalation breath, see if you can start to soften the muscles, in the space in between your eyebrows. Bring awareness to your cheekbones. And in your exhalation, softening the muscles around your cheekbones. And bring awareness to your jaw. And then your next exhalation, softening the muscles around your jaw. Every inhale, just watch where does the inhalation end up at. And every exhale is softening the facial muscles, it's softening your shoulders down or back. Inhale and notice, we exhale and soften. And if your awareness starts to drift away, away from your breath, away from sensation, very, very gently, very gently, like how you would encourage a kid to very gently come back to his or her task at hand, very gently invite your awareness back to the inhalation on the exhalation breath. So we're inhaling and noticing. And we're exhaling, softening our facial muscles, softening your shoulders down our back. And if you start to notice any thoughts or any emotion or any other sensation that starts to arise, you just very gently start to touch them, like an invisible finger touching them in your mind. Just touch them and say thoughts. And touch them and say sensations. And then bring the awareness back to the inhale and the exhale. And just notice what happens to the thoughts, the sensations, the emotions that arose. Sometimes they can magnify. Sometimes they can be smaller. Sometimes it can go in waves. Just allow yourselves to notice. Like bring the awareness constantly back to the inhale and the exhale.
invite it to keep your eyes closed or gently open them. And I just bring us through a few concepts, bring ourselves, bring ourselves through a few concepts as to what this practice, what is this practice that we're doing. So the root word of yoga, yoga, which really means huge in Sanskrit, which means to yoke in English. To yoke means to come into relationship with. So we come into relationship with ourselves. We come into relationship with the people around us. And we come into relationship with the world around us. So then, in the meditation practice, what we're trying to do is to learn how to come into relationship with ourselves. So, like for the past few minutes, when we're sitting in meditation, there might have been times that you experience your thoughts going some other place, or emotions starting to come up, sensations arising. Sometimes they might be uncomfortable. They might not be pleasant. And these are things that we really want to come to know, want to come into a deeper relationship with them. So these are the layers that cover up, say, be it from frustration or from anger, from sadness, from angst, anxiety. There's just a lot of things that might bring all these emotions, or might bring all these sensations to come about. So in the meditation practice, we're learning to not build barriers. We're learning to not run away from all of these sensations that arise from us. But we're learning to sit and just contemplate and just notice all these things that arise from a sense of non-judgment. So anxiety, for example, or anger, for example, we really want to understand how does anger manifest in our body? Which parts of our body does it originate from? And it can change from time to time. But the meditation practice teaches us to Instead of reacting to the situation when we feel anger or anxiety or sadness, we can breathe into that, we can notice it, and when we start to respond to the situation, we respond from a space of clarity. So how so in this, when we can come into a deeper relationship with all of those things that is uncomfortable and unpleasant for us. When we come into relationship with another person, we can then sit with that discomfort in a way that we can create a safe and supportive space for them without judging them. We can start to do that, and like mentioned in Tito's work, we can form stronger bonds, bonds and connection that is really based on trust, on respect, of love, of kindness, filled with empathy and compassion. When that happens, when that strong bond happens, that's where unity happens, solidarity. We can move forward as a community. And so that's the beauty of the meditation practice. It starts with really noticing things that surfaces within ourselves be in relationship with them, and then we can be in relationship with people around us. So we're going to take this idea back into a second round of meditation. So I welcome you again to find your seat. We are we are going to so just also to help you guys understand that meditation begins where you are at. We don't need to be perfect. There's no perfect meditation. 
it just keeps on changing every all the time all like every single second so welcome you guys to place your hands on your lap if they're not already there close your eyes or keep them open if you wish to and then come back to the inhalation and the exhalation breath And in the inhale breath, we're watching where the inhale lands up at, which part of the body. And the exhale breath, we're softening our facial muscles. We're softening our shoulders down our back. We inhale and notice. We exhale and soften. At any point, you feel discomfort in terms of thoughts or sensations. See if you can stay with that for a few more breaths. Breathe into it. And then if you need to move or you need to change your position slightly, do it ever so mindfully. But breathe into it first for a few more seconds. Don't fixate yourself on the thing. Breathe and soften. Constantly welcoming yourself back to the inhale and the exhale. Again, if anything arises for you, be really kind and gentle with yourself. Inhaling, noticing, and exhale, softening. A human being is a part of the whole called by us universe, a part limited in time and space. 
He experiences himself, his thoughts and feeling, as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Very gently, start to bow our heads down to its own chest. Just going to say a few words of gratitude to its own selves. Truly thank ourselves for taking this Wednesday evening taking the time to step out of our usual routine or any other thing that we're doing to cultivate this space for ourselves, cultivating this space where we can breathe and practice this idea of non-judgment, practicing this idea of being in relationship with ourselves and knowing that when we can come into a deeper relationship with ourselves, we can forge stronger bonds with the people around us. So really thank ourselves for doing this really important practice. And thank all of you guys for sharing this space with me this evening. I really welcome you to in your everyday lives, we feel it's a great practice to set aside five, 10 minutes, put a timer on and take time to breathe and to notice what arises for you. So I believe that I have to, I'm going to take some questions on Facebook. So I'm just going to click on that. My laptop is in front. No questions, right? Also being told there are no questions. So, so thank you so much. I believe that's D. So thank you guys so much for I believe this is also Sam's first time doing an online um, Facebook Live thing during this period. And it's also my first time. So thank you so much to Sam for sharing this space with me. Um, and thank you guys so much for being with us this evening. So please tune in again next week and they will have another session. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week ahead.